Happy Halloween everyone. Today we're going to be working on this jack-o-lantern design. You can see I've got two eyes and a nose here and then I've got the mouth on my thumb. So to get started I did all my nails in just a plain black. This is more like a jack-o-lantern at night than during the day. So for the black base I just used wet n wild black cream. And then so that the bright oranges really pop, I'm going to start out by doing just a basic white triangle on each of my three middle nails. I've got just a piece of scratch paper right here and the white polish that I'm going to be using is Wet n Wild French White. Just a basic fairly opaque white. I'm just going to dab some of that out on the paper here. And then I've got just my small art brush here. This is one that I picked up at Michael's. And I'm going to start off with the line across the bottom. And just try to make it as neat as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you know, when you're carving a jack-o'-lantern, unless you've really got some skills, you're probably not going to turn out with perfectly even triangles there either. And like I said, this is just to help the color really pop instead of if you were to try to go right over the black base, then it would turn out really dark. So I'm just going to repeat that on my middle nail and my index nail. Alright, now if you see that any of these are very lopsided, you can go ahead and just kind of even them out. And I'm just going to add a little bit more on this side of this triangle. And try to keep them, you know, about the same size on both hands. And that looks pretty good to me. I might make them just a little bit fatter, but the other part I want to show you is for the mouth. Um, it's a little bit awkward to squeeze my thumb in here, but this will just be for a minute. Basically what I did was just draw like a top part of a smiley, like that, and then fill it in down below like that. And fill in the center and I will probably neaten this up just a little bit at an angle that's a bit more comfortable but I'm basically going to let all of this white dry before I move on to the next step all right it's been about I don't know maybe five or ten minutes it doesn't have to be exact just enough so that you're not smearing the white around when you go on to this next step um, I did my research by kind of checking out just googling images of jack-o'-lanterns at night and I noticed that they all were kind of you know very bright glowy orange in the middle and then a little bit darker orange around the edges so for that darker orange around the edge I'm going to be using China Glaze Free Love and again I'm just gonna dab some of that out on my little piece of scratch paper here and with my same little brush, which I've cleaned off with just some polish remover, I'm just going to start going around and basically outlining the edges with this darker orange. Don't forget about your little smiley mouth or I suppose you know if you wanted to you could make it a frowny mouth or an angry mouth or a spike tooth mouth whatever kind of mouth you want on your jack-o-lantern and like I said don't worry too much if it's not totally totally neat um, 
you know, I'm trying not to be too anal about it myself, but the reality is, in real life, it's probably not going to happen that anybody's going to be this close to your nails, you know, zoomed up to super, super close. And from a distance, it's going to look perfectly fine. So, again, I'm just going to let this dry for a few minutes so that it's not smearing around when I go to the next color, and then we'll move on to the glowing centers. So the darker orange is now dry and for the glowing centers I'm going to be using China Glaze Sun Worshipper which is a really bright neon orange. Just get some of that out of my paper here and I'm just going to be filling in the center and overlapping just a little bit with the darker orange. So not covering it completely, but again, you don't have to be super, super neat. And that's hard for me to say because I think, as a lot of you guys know, I am kind of a perfectionist. But for this, it's really just not necessary to be 100% perfect. So that finishes off the glowing centers. As it starts to dry, if you see any little patches that need a little bit more, just go ahead and dab a little bit more on there so that the color is solid. And then one more time, we're going to let this dry just for a couple minutes. All right, neons dry pretty fast, so I didn't have to wait too long on that last one. For this final step, I'm going to go back to using the Wet n Wild black cream and I'm going to add in eyeballs to the eyes and I'm going to add some teeth to the mouth and when I was experimenting with this design I tried you know like just drawing the uh, the eyes and the teeth in my original instead of just doing a triangle and that just didn't work out very well so I'm using my largest dotting tool here I'm just gonna go into black with that and I'm going to place an eyeball right about there. Even my largest tool isn't quite as large as I want this eyeball, so I'm just kind of drawing it out a little bit bigger by spreading the polish around. Um, trying not to make that too messy. And there's your eyeball. I'm going to repeat that again on my index finger. And I suppose if you wanted to make like a nostril or something on the nose, you could go ahead and do that. But I'm just leaving the nose as a plain triangle. And then on the mouth, I'm going to be using my small brush again. And I'm just going to draw in a little tooth coming down from the top. And then one coming up from the bottom. And you know, you can make these however large or small you want. If you want to make them pointy instead of blunt, you can do that. I'm just going to add another on the top. If you want more teeth on the bottom or whatever, you know, this is the part where your personal. Uh, creativity comes into play and you can make it look however you would like. So once that's all dry, you can go ahead and add a top coat. Um, I'm not sure if it'll show up on camera, but the top coat does help to just let that neon pop and make everything all nice and shiny. And you know, I'll try to do a better um, upright look, but you can see there if you hold your hand just right, you get a jack-o'-lantern face. So 
that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this Halloween tutorial. And I know it's getting kind of close to the day. If I do have time, I'm going to squeeze in just one more. But um, I don't want to promise because I'm not positive that I will squeeze it in. But uh, if you go out trick-or-treating um, yourself or if you have kids, because I do have fans in both age ranges, you know, remember to stay safe and have lots of fun. And as always, thanks for watching.